Major Glitch. You have to see this. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. As you know, I'm a narcissistic psychopath, and I use my self-awareness and knowledge of my kind to explain why we do as we do, why we think in the manner that we do, why we conduct ourselves in the manner that we do, so that you gain understanding. You don't have to like it, indeed. Much of it causes you to think, you guys are crazy, or that's horrific. But the point is, I bring enlightenment to you. And those of you who have been watching the Successful Escape series will see just how effective my work is in allowing people to understand what they have experienced and what they've been able to do about it. I've also extended this enlightenment through my series of analysis about famous and infamous people, which of course includes a continued analysis of Harry's wife because she's so prominent and provides us with so much material. I have no emotional empathy. This enables me to make decisions which others would find difficult very easily. It aids me in various facets of my life, enabling me to achieve considerable success. What it has meant is that I have had to learn how to behave in effect. I mimic the behaviours of others, recognising the appropriate response in certain scenarios so that I fit in and belong, so that I don't stand out in a way which attracts suspicion. This enables me to get what I want far more easily in terms of the prime aims to attend to my narcissism and remaining hyper-focused with regard to my goals and alleviating the boredom with regard to my psychopathy. It enables me to play the game so effectively that I so relish. Were you to meet me, and I know some of you would very much enjoy doing so, whilst others would say there'd be nothing less likely that I would like to do, if you were not to know who I was, you would have no recognition of what I am. This is because I have learned to present myself in a particular way which would not arise any suspicion. Not all narcissists, however, are competent at doing this. Some operate with no veneer or facade. Those are the lessers, and therefore they stand out with regard to suddenly erupting into a temper tantrum, not having an appropriate response with regard to the circumstances, the 404 moment. Watch the video of that name to understand more. Mid-range narcissists meet with various degrees of success with regard to the presentation of fitting in. This is where we meet Harry's wife as a mid-range mid narcissist. Many, many years ago, and I've explained this before, when I saw somebody crying, I didn't know what it was or what it meant, and I had to ask my sister, why is there water leaking from that person's eyes? She found it amusing, because she said, but HG, they're crying. Why? I asked, because it was not something that I did, and it was not something that I understood. My siblings often thought of me as a little alien because of the way that I would question certain responses because they were actually alien to me. But over time I learned that in certain situations one had to say certain things, behave a particular way, detail a particular facial expression, use a particular tone of voice because that was what society expected of you. And in order to be able to avoid suspicion and avoid threats to control, that's what I went along with. And every narcissist does similar. Because of the absence of emotional empathy, the narcissist is not able to feel the response, but instead has to work it out. Many narcissists, this happens instinctively, catered for them by the background app that is their narcissism. And I've explained in detail about how this happens in the imitation game, a brilliant video, and you really ought to watch it. Sometimes, though, it doesn't get it right, or there's a delay. So when that cherry picker goes off into that virtual warehouse to find the appropriate shelf section, to find the appropriate response to the circumstances, sometimes it takes a while before it comes back, and thus this translates into you seeing a delay between 
what has happened and a reaction. There's almost like a blank look from the narcissist before they suddenly click into life. In some other instances, what that cherry picker brings back doesn't quite fit, and therefore you get an incongruous response to the circumstances, which often leaves you thinking, why are they behaving like that? Why do they say that? Why do they look like that? Why do they make that mannerism? It's because the narcissism has glitched in terms of choosing a response that would actually be more accurate. Do you remember Total Recall? Not the Colin Farrell version, the one with Arnie. And there was one point where he adopts a disguise of a rather large lady, but it starts to glitch so that I think her, her hair comes up, doesn't it? It makes her bold and then the mask the robotic mask starts to come apart and the voice changes as it glitches and gives him away. Well, what you're about to see is Harry's wife behaving in a similar way, which then begs the question, what's actually causing her to do this? Let's bring up the footage, which again is from the Invictus Games, so that you can see what's going on for the purposes of understanding it, and then I'll break it down for you. Here it comes. There you are. I think you would agree that that would be filed under bizarre. They're watching an event, and you can see that once again, Harry's wife does that ridiculous clapping like a coked-up seal. Those rather large hands slamming together. You notice that when she claps, she always brings her hands up high, rather than putting them out at sort of waist level or chest level she brings them almost up in front of her face as if to differentiate the way that she claps from other people she claps and looks around and then does this strange act of opening up her clothing as if she were to say "Ooh, have a look at my chest one wonders is that a reaction to her feeling rather warm when she does that she then glances at Harry, who doesn't seem to be particularly interested in her, and then starts to bob up and down, as if she needs the toilet. Again, another rather strange reaction. Following on from that is what I think is probably the rather the strangest aspect of it all. There's this kind of gurning with her mouth. She looks to the side, looks upwards, then strains, and then looks ahead. It put me in mind of that total recall moment, as if you're watching a robot as it's trying to work out which way should I look, which facial expression should I be exhibiting. Is this the narcissism glitching as it struggles to understand what facial feature and expression should be put forward? Do I smile? Do I look entertained? Do I look elated? Do I look confused? Do I look involved? What is it I'm going to do? And it appears rather strange in the way that it shifts. There isn't a natural segueing of expression, and I've pointed this out before in relation to Harry's wife. It's almost like it shifts in rough cut from expression doesn't work, different expression doesn't work, different expression doesn't work. And it's notable as if she's moving, not gradually, but with a distinct and separate shift from each expression. There then follows a wobbling of the arms, and she doesn't even seem to know where to put them, a swipe of the nose, and then a look towards Harry, who is watching intently. Now, also notice this. If you watch her body language and expressions compared to that of Harry and other people in the crowd, she's far more animated 
but moving in a kind of mechanical manner compared to everybody else, demonstrating the way that she functions in a completely different way, that it's not natural, but rather fabricated. It is an extremely bizarre set of reactions from the out-of-sync clapping and overly prominent clapping to the don't-know-where-to-look, the look-at-my-chest, to the bobbing up and down and then the shifting through different facial expressions. To my mind, there are two explanations. The first is that this is indeed the glitching of the narcissist, that for some reason her narcissism was unable to settle upon the appropriate response in these circumstances. I've explained in detail why the narcissist behaves this way because of the absence of emotional empathy and the having to learn the appropriate responses. Nevertheless, it could well be the case that what you're watching here is a major glitch of a narcissist as the narcissism misfires and sends her to various different facial expressions, hand movements and body language as it flounders around trying to find the appropriate way that she should behave and she looks completely out of place compared to everybody else that's in the crowd. The alternative is that there's something else affecting her beyond her narcissism and that she is under the influence of something. Now, there is no evidence to confirm that. It's not like there's any admission of her taking recreational pharmaceuticals or any visible evidence in terms of watching a snort a line or pop a pill, etc. But it must be said that the reactions might fit with that, that she's perhaps too hot, which is why she was opening her clothing and the jerkiness of the movement and the inability to keep still. Is it because she's under the influence of some kind of recreational pharmaceutical? Or is it, as I have suggested, as a consequence of the glitching of a narcissist because the narcissism is unable to find the appropriate response in the circumstances? You can make your own mind up about what it is, but, as always, I provide you with an explanation vis-a-vis -vis Harry's wife's narcissism. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for watching.